Hey, I'm Cher, and welcome to Readings. If you like the way I read, please like, share, and subscribe. Welcome, new subscribers. Pisces. Before you, we do your reading, Pisces, we're going to pull a Spirit Junkie card for you by Gabrielle Bernstein. Then we're going to pull a Moonology card for you, an Oracle card by Yasmin Boland. We're going to do your reading with my favorite deck and spirits, the Gypsy Witch Fortune Telling Cards. We're going to go to the witch. Pisces. The cast is off, but I am badly bruised and very weak. <laughs> so, me couple of days and I hope to be back before you know it. I have to go in for physio for three months. So, okay. Pisces. Let's pick a spirit junkie card for you. Spirit is strong. Let's pick a card. Okay, I am ready to go big. Rise up and step into my power. Damn. My God. <laughs> Happy freaking New Year, Pisces. I am ready to go big. Step up. And rise up and step into my power. Holy crap. Thank you, Spirit. Okay, let's put those to one side. Damn, Pisces, coming out strong. Let's pick a Moonology card for you. Let's see what that has to say. Spirit, can we match up? Where? It's between two. Spirit, adjustments are required. Third quarter moon, adjustments are required. And yeah, that's usually true. Adjustments are required in order to go big and to rise up and step into your power. We, we got to do some adjustments to get her on and get her done. But let's find out what that means. Let's go to the book. Uh, third quarter moon. Let's see what we can find. Third quarter moon. Let's see if I can find it. Page 36. Yes, page 36. 36. Six and three is nine, if that means anything to you. Maybe Google that and find out what the number angel number 36 or the angel number nine or the angel numbers three and six. Let me get me magic wand. Let's go. Think of yourself as a vessel that has been filled more and more over the past few weeks. Some of what has come your way may have been wonderful, but there is also a lot of negativity and you need to let go of this. So that's the adjustment to let go of the negativity. Whatever situation you're asking about now, be honest about whether there are toxic emotions involved, which you need to release into the ethers. This card also comes with the promise that all is not lost. However, there are changes or adjustments required before you will get to where you want to be. A change, of course, is forecast now that recent events have been understood and acted upon. There may also be a crisis now, which will remind you what you want and what it's time to let go of. So pay attention. 
All right, adjustments are required, Pisces. So adjustments are required. I'm ready to go big, rise up, and step into my power. And I think you know that's what you want. I think many of you have a New Year's resolution that I, I want to get myself tickety-boo. I want to clean up that inner garden, that upper garden. I want better for me. But there's something that you have to let go of. Ow, let's go to the witch. Let's try not to make it hurt. Pisces. Let's cut them up. Another cut. Pisces. Breathe it in. Call in spirit. Let's get her on. Let's get her done. Pisces. You're reading. Soulmate. Soulmate. Nine of Wands. Burden. Burdensome person. Someone who causes you anxiety, emotion. Burden. Tired. Heavy laden. Just has drawn all your energy. An energy vampire. Someone has sucked you dry. Guard is up. Guard is up against this soulmate that has sucked you dry. And I want a whole brand new beginning in something. There is a whole brand new beginning coming in. But adjustments are required. You're ready to go big, but there's something about this soulmate. Let's cut. Somebody's holding on to a three. Here's what's happening. When the first card out is a soulmate, and then there's this putting guards up and putting walls up. If you're ready for a whole brand new beginning, there should be no walls. All walls should be down, and you should be ready to move on. But when the walls are up, that means that there's still shit there. It means that there's something that you're not letting go of. If you let go, walls come down. You feel free. You feel able to step into a new beginning. But the walls are up here. So when walls are up and there's this attitude, this feeling of they're not coming back in and I'm not letting them back in and 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 you'll notice that a lot of what you're thinking about and holding on to is they they and what they did so it's not really moving on to a brand new beginning but the brand new beginning is right there right right there but there's holding on to something that happened was a soulmate that caused you this great burden, that caused you this anxiety. Because there it is, this, this jail thing. This, this devil, this is the devil on the playing cards. The Eight of Swords, a feeling trapped. I'm putting walls up and I'm still feeling this entrapment. I'm still feeling the energy of this entrapment. I still feel the energy of this I'm drained. I'm tired. This person just took took me. This took everything that I have. So there's walls up, which means that you still got this 
thing of the past. But right in the middle of all this is a whole brand new beginning waiting. A whole brand new beginning. I see you're ready to go big and I see you're ready to rise up. But there's things here that you must tell yourself the truth. And that whole brand new beginning cannot happen until you tell yourself the truth. That you know what? Shit. It's 2022. I made the resolution. I'm moving on. I'm going to do good. I'm getting my freaking vibration up. But you've got to tell yourself the truth. That you're still holding on. Building a fortress around yourself. Because you're still expecting the bullshit from 2021 to come. And it might, we'll have to wait and see, it might, but you don't want it to. You are doing one good thing, and I feel that that is a good thing, is that you're letting go of, you have some kind of regrets, but I feel you're telling yourself the truth about the regrets that you have. Let's pull another card to find out. Yes, with the equal give and take and the regret card here, the seven of swords in the reverse. The regrets, you're telling yourself the truth about this regret of whatever you were dealing with in 21 with an energy that was an energy vampire. Telling yourself the truth that there was no equal give and take. I gave, I gave. I have regrets for giving, but I'm telling myself the truth. And the truth is that you've got to let go of this regret. And you've got to let go. You've got to own it, actually. And you've got to make a decision about even though you got this whole brand new thing wrapped up in your head, you don't really have it wrapped up in your spirit. Because I still had the strong passion for somebody. And a decision must be made. Now your head is telling you, I'm I'm doing good. I'm 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 going, I'm going on my way. I'm stepping foot in a whole brand new cycle. I'm stepping onto a new path. But your spirit's saying something else. So your heart is saying something else. See, the thing is, is that you had a lot of plans and a lot of great things planned with somebody. And you really wanted something to happen here with somebody. A smooth talker and a sexy walker, male or female. You had a lot of plans. Maybe house and home, the real estate card. You took a gift to them. And the gift was the gift of the Ten of Cups. And what did they do? They walked away. They walked away from your gift of the Ten of Cups. But you see... There's an imbalance here, Pisces, because the imbalance is, is that you're thinking, not all of you, but for some of you, this is actually happening, is that you're thinking too fast for the situation. You still get someone on your mind and in your heart, yet you want this whole brand new beginning. What is this whole brand new beginning that you want? Passion. You want to find somebody else, but you can't find somebody else, darling. When we get feeling like this, because it's only going to keep us not grounded. We have got to release into the ethers, release the, the pain and the suffering. And we got to own any regrets that we have of ever dealing with this person. 
Like, I, I dread the day I ever met them. Well, dread it then. But also deal with this regret that you carry and own it because it's not just them. It takes two to dance. But the thing is, is that we have a very, very strong kind of soulmate here. And when I have a strong kind of soulmate, first card out was a soulmate, but the next card is this return of this person that you have history with. Could have been someone you were married to for years or someone you knew in high school or someone you have kids with, or somebody you worked with. But it's a strong, strong soulmate connection. But from what I'm seeing here, it is a soulmate connection that was a, a vampire. They sucked you dry. You're standing at the crossroads right now. Make sure you say no to the right one. Which path are you going to leave out in the cold? Are you going to leave the whole brand new beginning that you want? The 2022 beginning that you want? The resolution that you made? I'm going to do good. Are you going to leave that one out in the, path, out in the cold? Are you going to leave the past? Are you going to leave 2021 out in the cold? Which one will it be? But this person's got a hold on you. That even though you're saying to yourself, I'm going to do good. And you know what? I'm feeling pretty good too. But you take two steps forward and then you take three back. Because there's some sort of a connection here. And what is the connection here? When you hurt Pisces, how do you hurt Pisces? You break their heart and passion. Pisces is extremely, extremely passionate, passionate sign. The only way to break a Pisces is to break their passion, to break their heart. Once a Pisces heart is broken, it's like sometimes the only way to mend it is to return to the one that broke it. And, and like a father figure, always trying to please. Or a mother who treats you like crap no matter how much you've done for her. And still, always trying to please with that broken heart. And that's what I have here. I have a Pisces who wants to please. And I do have you trying to fight it. Trying to fight it. Reunion. What's going on? I have a reunion for Pisces. This is your reading. Your reading is much like you gave your heart, you gave everything. You tried your best, you did your best, you gave your best, you gave your all. You try to fight this strong, strong connection that took it all. But much like a child trying to get its parents' affection, its parents' love, you keep returning and doing more. And trying harder just to get that that love that we put in try to get an ounce of it back I'm ready to go big rise up and step into my power yes yes you are you are I can feel it I can freaking feel it this is so much what I want this is what you're saying this is so much what I want. I want this whole brand new beginning. I want to move on from 21. I want to move on from those who hurt me and, and, and used me. 
but adjustments, Pisces, are required. And what are those adjustments? To realize that you don't have to prove your love to nobody. To realize that no matter how much time and effort you put in, it's not worth the ounce of love that you're going to get back. If you get that. It is to understand that it's just not worth it. That it's time to go. It's time to readjust. Take yourself out of neutral and throw yourself into drive. You have the options for another ship to come in. The options are there. The opportunity is there. But you hold off and you wait. This is Pisces. It is 100% on board with moving on. But 110% with wanting to please, to receive that one ounce of love out of the tons that you have given. Is it worth it? No. It is worth you moving on. This is going to be very, very hard for you because I do see reunion coming towards Pisces. I do see someone coming back, wanting reunion. This person who takes and takes and takes. And you given and giving and giving and giving and looking for appreciation, looking for an acknowledgement, looking for just a touch of love. Pisces, Sag, Taurus. Big Taurus here. Pisces, Sag, Taurus. Pisces, this is your reading. Thanks for joining me today. Namaste.